What's going on, everybody? It's How To Tuesday, and here we like to talk about knots, testing knots, and making sure that we're choosing the best possible knot for the situation that we're fishing in. There is a couple of knots that are very similar to one another that are used for connecting a heavier piece of line to a lighter piece of line. You see it with wire to monofilament, see it with fly line to backing, and braid to fluorocarbon. Those are common uh, uses for these knots. One is an old knot named after Jimmy Albright, an old-time Florida uh, Keys fishing guide from Isla Mirada, I believe. And Jimmy Albright had a great way of attaching two dissimilar lines together. It's called the Albright knot. You loop the bigger one over, you put the line through, and wrap back down towards the uh, bend in the heavier line and pull that tight. It works very well with fluorocarbon to wire or monofilament to wire. It also works very well for uh, fly line to backing and people use it for attaching monofilament or fluorocarbon to braided line. There is another knot by our friend Alberto Knee, which is basically an improved Al uh, an improved Albright knot, I should say, where instead of putting the line in the doubled line and wrapping back towards the bend in the line, you start wrapping when you go through the line and then wrap back over yourself, kind of like a bimini, back down. And it should, in theory, make for a stronger knot. So what we're going to do today is tie up a few of each of these and test them and see which tests out the average stronger. I have a feeling that it might be the Alberto knot, but it could be the Albright. I don't know. Maybe simpler is better in the case of braid to fluorocarbon. And in the case of braid to fluorocarbon, what we are testing is a connection between 20 pound J braid made by Daiwa going to 40 pound J fluoro also made by Daiwa. So a 20 to 40 pound connection, that could be a good snook setup. It could be used for a lot of different things. So that's what we had available. That's what we test. And here we go. Okay, so the Albright knot tested slightly, slightly higher at 13.2 pounds, and the Alberto knot tested 13.15. Now, 13.15 on 20-pound test, in my opinion, that's not a real strong knot. We've tested lots of knots that are stronger than that. So, uh, you know, this may hurt some feelings that people really like the Alberto knot or they really like the Albright knot. But every time that we tested these knots, they both were testing in the 13 pound range there with the, uh, with the Albright barely edging out the Alberto in this situation of 20 pound braid to 40 pound fluorocarbon. Now, I like these knots very much for wire to fluorocarbon connections, but these are not knots that I'd really use that much personally. We've we've tested a bunch of other knots on, on the Knot Wars here on How To Tuesday, and there are lots of knots that test stronger than the Alberto or the Albright. So neither one of these are knots that I choose personally for my connection. They do make a nice smooth connection, and I will use them in fly fishing, and I will use them for, for wire to uh, monofilament or fluorocarbon. But in this situation of braid, to fluorocarbon, specifically 20 pound braid to 40 pound fluorocarbon. The Albright tests better than the Alberto in all the tests that we ran, and both of them were kind of on the marginal scale of strength. So take it for what it's worth. Is the Alberto better than the Albright? In this situation, the Albright was better, but neither were high performers as far as the, the knots that we've been testing. We've been testing some other knots that'll get up uh, 18, 19, and even over 20 pounds over the breaking strength. So it is possible to get much, much more strength out of the line from that. 
So take it for what it's worth. If those are the knots that you're using, maybe check out some other knots. If if you are using the Alberto and you're absolutely uh, insist that it's stronger than the Albright, maybe it is in certain situations, but in this one, Albright just edged it out. All right, sorry, Alberto. Um, anyway, that's it for this week. Come back next week. We'll have some more knots to test. See you.